He won't let me let him down for anything. It's so funny. You feel secure now? Did you have a good time gallivanting? Huh? Yeah, y'all better now. Y'all better now? Huh? That's something I stress to people. If one of your snakes gets out, don't freak out and don't harass them. Don't go crazy tearing your house up because if you disturb them or frighten them, they're going to go into a deeper state of hiding instead of wanting to come back out. Just ignore them, leave them alone, set up some water, set up a place for them to get warm and stay warm. So when they come out, they have something available to keep them going in case they stay gone for a while. But don't go crazy looking for them and tearing your furniture apart. Do it casually and quietly. Because the last thing you want to do when a snake gets out, it, they're curious. They're going to look everywhere and try to get into everything. They love to explore. But don't go crazy tearing your house apart looking for them. If you do, do it subtly and quietly so you don't upset them. Not like him today. We tore my snake room apart last night looking for him. You know, moving everything out from under the futon, out from under all the enclosures and everything. And I didn't see him, so I said, okay, I'm just going to set up his water. I opened up a lower enclosure for him and had the basking light on. So when he got tired of roaming around, he could come out of wherever he was and get back in the enclosure. You're not letting go of my hand for anything, are you? But the important thing is, they sense when you're upset, and they sense when you're nervous. So the last thing you want to do is overwhelm them when they're out and about because it's uncharted territory for them because they're not with you, they're alone. So they know they're vulnerable when they're alone like that. So, you know, just don't go crazy worrying about it. If you see them, don't try to grab them because if you do, they'll duck back and go back into hiding. Just set things up for your snake so they'll be okay until they're ready to come out and this is the advantage of having social snakes and he came right back to me while i was laying on my futon out there i just finished vacuuming in the house went out there and kicked back to relax with my coffee and watched some tv out there and he startled the crap out of me came right up the front of the food time went laid his head on my arm so i very calmly reached over with my left arm and grabbed him and picked him up, held him in front of my face, and I'm like, are you through? Did you have a good time? You had me worried. But don't go crazy trying to find them, because they're not in any danger unless, like, that's when, when your snakes get out. If you have wall vents or you have cold air ducts, you want to close those off so they can't get into them. Now I know my snake room is secure, so I knew he wasn't going very far. He's sleeping. He's sound asleep. And he's got me in a lasso and a half here with his body. He won't let me go. See what he's doing in my hand. But he came back to me of his own choice. He's sound asleep. So, yeah, he's fine. He's back. He had fun. He got out and he got some exercise and got to prowl around, explore the snake room a little more than he normally does. So... He had his fun, and he looked for me and came back. I see you got, you getting ready to shed, too. You got a cap on your eye. Yeah, he was just getting ready to shed when he disappeared shortly thereof anyway. But don't go crazy when your snakes get out. Don't go nuts tearing the room apart, because if you scare them, they'll be that much longer before they surface. Be patient with them. Just be supportive. That's very important to them to know that you're not harassing them or making them feel threatened. Just a video I wanted to make because he got out yesterday. We had company and I was outdoors with some friends and family and the boys kept going in and out of the house and in and out of the house and they wanted to play with the cats and they went out in the snake room and when I came back in, my female cat was locked out in the snake room. She was screaming because she couldn't get back in the house. My male cat was laying on the bed, and I happened to glance over, and the doorstop was out of Tipper's enclosure, and the door glass was slid over about eight inches. And I picked up his hide, no Tipper, so I'm like, great, he got out. I don't know how he did. But the important thing with that was, you know, you don't blame, you don't blame someone for that because I'm responsible. 
because I have a strict rule. I don't let people in the snake room unless I'm with them. And I was outside, and I gave them permission to come in the house because they wanted to play with the cats. But that's my responsibility. These are your full-time responsibility. You have a protocol, and you have to stick tight with it if you want your snakes to survive and to be healthy. And so I take responsibility. It was all my fault because I let people go into the snake room on the company and let them come into the house on the company. It's a good thing for me. I keep all my enclosures tightly secured. Those out there, I didn't have the tape on the ends, the Gorilla Tape. I just had the door stopper between the two sliding glass panels. So the door stop was all the way on the other side of the room and the glass was slid open and the snake was out. And he couldn't duck himself because the door stopper's on the outside of the glass panels. But that's not the important thing, is how he got out. The important thing is the lesson I learned about staying strict with my protocol. Don't allow people around your snake enclosures unless you accompany them. You never know. Somebody could open the door when one that's cranky and get bit in the face. So that's a strict rule I have, and I let myself down because I didn't supervise the people that were in the house. But just something for you to consider. You can't, these are lives, valuable lives. I just wanted to make this video to tell people that, but he's back safe and sound. He was only gone for a day or so. But yeah, he's all right. He's sound asleep. He's not going to let go of my arm or anything. He's got me tight right up. Okay, folks. But really, don't overreact and don't freak out when your snake gets out because it's not to your... Did you have a good time while you were out ramming around? Guess who found me? <laughs> um, no, it's shaky. I'm excited. Actually, I laid down on the futon. I was watching the TV out there. And I wasn't really watching the floor at all. And guess who crawled around and came up to the edge of the futon and climbed up on my arm? Mr. Escapee here. So Tipper's home and he's fine. And he's going back into enclosure in the house part. I already set up a new one in here so I can keep an eye on him because he was out. I'm shaking. I can't help but I'm excited. But they always come back to you. They know they're safe with you. And that's the advantage to having social snakes. He actually came, I don't know where he came from, out from under the futon or from across the room, but he crawled right up the arm of the front of the futon, crawled right up and laid his head on my arm. It scared the crap out of me. Because I don't have snakes crawling around on the floor out there unless I intentionally got them out. But yeah, Tipper's back and he's fine. He ha Did you have a good time? Huh? I can't breathe. I'm so happy to see him. I don't get excited or nervous or worried about it because my snakes are very social. And they know I'm a safe place for them to be. So they always find me. I've had several get out and get loose, but... They always come back to me because they know it's safe to be near me. So, living proof, he was only gone for one day. You got dust all over your head, your nose, your mouth. And I'm sorry it's shaky, but... Glad to see you back, buddy. <laughs>